let's just point out the elephant in the room. This ain't the most aesthetically pleasing scene, and that is because we are in the middle of moving. And so we're just doing the best with what we got. I could only find a <laughs> tripod with a janky leg. My microphone's already packed away, so we're just rolling with the punches. Also, my daughter is asleep, and so I have the iPad down here, and I'm watching her. My dog is here. There's just a lot going on, but let's get into it. Also, something to point out is that I packed away my lights, and so we're just using the natural sunlight, so all of this, the color's gonna change a lot. Okay, let's get into it. Welcome here. If you've never seen my face before, my name is Ilea Colgan. I'm a YouTuber, songwriter, and I just had my baby girl at home almost seven months ago. Don't talk about it too much, because I might cry. 99.9% .9 of the comments on her birth video were positive or questions about how certain things worked. One of the ones I thought would be great to share is what happens with everything after? Like, what happens after the home birth? And I thought that was a great question because I do have footage that I thought, I was like, oh man, if I was watching a home birth, I would want to know, like, what happens after that? Like, placenta, all the things. So I do have a bunch of footage from about, like, two hours, within the two hour window of postpartum. Them. And I want to share that because like I feel like it's really important to educate yourself on like maybe what that looks like Actually, let's just get into it Let's get into the story and then I'll share clips as I have them So if you haven't watched my home birth video go watch that I just want you to know I put one minute for every hour I was in labor from like the first onset of a contraction to she was here So there's one minute for every hour. So it's 26 minutes long grab a cup of coffee It's one of my favorite videos ever obviously because it's the birth of my daughter. So she was born she came out, we hung out in the tub for a while. It's like, it's hard to say how long we were actually in the tub because like you are in such a euphoric, like, my world just came into focus, my life has forever changed, so much love, you're so much oxytocin. I don't know how long we were actually sitting in the tub, but it felt like a beautiful amount of time. So we like hung out. Oh, look at you, <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, a jelly oh, monkey. Oh. I held her skin to skin. She was on my chest, she was, like in my hands and Dave and I were looking at her and I think people were kind of coming and going like photographer or my sister-in-law and the doula I think we're all coming in and out like during that like however long we were sitting in the tub but my midwife was there watching just keeping an eye on the bleeding and all that type of stuff so eventually you see me like stand up out of the tub and I'm like here I'll just show you the clip of me standing up out of the tub wait you just stepped on my cord I think oh where is it or, no, I, I think it's, it should just be from I feel it's, it's being towed okay uh -huh. I think we'll it's uh, an amniotic sac. Yeah, it's probably the sac. Very Which slippery. might be still attached to you. Yeah. Inside. Uh, Look at that! Whoa. Is that, that my placenta? Sense? Nope, that was a clot. Oh, okay. So, come on, and we're going to help you stand right here. Let me, let me step out really quick. Yeah. Be careful with the wet before, though. Yeah. Here's a towel for you. Good job. Good job, baby. Good. good job. I know you've been trying to avoid this oh. birth stool, but this will be a good time good. to sit on it. Yeah. Good. Why am I? Why am I just going to sit down down right down? Because I have to put some baby while the sun comes out. Nice and open. Yep. Yeah. You're just going to sit and Sorry. enjoy her. You can try to feed her if you want. Nice to meet you. Because breastfeeding does help. Yeah. Well, yeah. Plus, gonna come if she's willing and not gunky bra. It was our decision to keep the cord attached as long as possible. I think maybe even next time I might do a lotus birth. I don't know. But she was still attached, like, so the placenta was still inside, and so the cord was coming all the way down my beds and still attached to the baby. So as I stood up, I could feel, like, the amniotic sac um, tugging. But so I get out of the tub, and I sit on what is called a birth stool. Now, I communicated to my birth team during labor. I wanted to avoid the birth stool at all costs, kind of. I was okay to, like, labor there, but I was not going to push on the birth stool. Um, based off of my research and the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of birth stories I've watched, it can cause, like, a complete blowout and you're downstairs. My choice was to avoid that. I would, I would be fine the labor on it, but I was not going to push on it. So anyways, I got out, sat on the birth stool, and so she was keeping an eye on the bleeding as I'm sitting on the birth stool, and she was encouraging me to nurse uh, because I was bleeding pretty heavily. I was in such a snuggle my baby face that I don't even remember, but that's why you hire a professional because you are not, I was not with it enough to like make that observation. Anyways, sitting on the birth stool, was kind of half trying to latch her, but she wasn't super interested. She was still kind of like getting some amniotic fluid out of her lungs. Should I be sitting up more straight? Nope, you're great. She asked, she was like, hey, what if we cut the cord? So we cut the cord and give the baby to Dave and have him do some skin to skins. Okay, baby. I'm gonna put this right on your cord because you don't need your cord anymore. You're breathing air just fine. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Here we go. I'll take those. Pull this down from down here, okay? What is it? I'm pulling this down between your legs. There you go. Now you can move her however you want. Nice. Oh, look at those eyeballs. She's so cute. You look cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like that you said that. <laughs> I'm making fun of her. She's so offended. So he took his shirt off and had sand skin, and it was like I love having that footage now because I didn't get to see it. Like I handed her to him, and they like walked out while me, the midwife, and the doula all stayed in the bathroom. She's so little. I sat on the birth stool while I received a fundus massage. I hated it. It was awful. I would say it was worse than labor. It was not great. Either that or like I was already in such a like euphoric state and like not in that like labor mindset anymore that I was kind of like, sweet, the pain's done actually. At one point I say like, oh, I thought I was done with the pain. <laughs> You're so precious. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought I was done with the pain. I know. Oh, That's why this part just sucks. Here. It really does. You're so precious. My midwife was not comfortable with the amount that I was bleeding, so she was kind of trying to like encourage the placenta to come out and encourage some of the, the clots and blood to come out. So I received a fundus massage, which was horrible. At that point, my midwife was like, hey, can we try some tinctures to try to encourage the placenta to come because I'm, a I'm getting a little uncomfortable with how much blood you're losing. And I was like, yep, let's do some tinctures. So like, I can't remember what it was. I and then we waited a little while and then she was like, I think we're gonna do another round of herbals. And so did that. Oh, we got some cool. Oh. oh, look at that. Good job for waiting until after you were born. Oh, let me get some wipes. We have those. <laughs> and then she was like, hey, based off of you know what I'm seeing, I think it would be good if we administered Pitocin IM, intramuscular. So for all the talk I do on Instagram about how much I hate Pitocin, I do because it has only been FDA approved for postpartum hemorrhage. It is not FDA approved for the induction of labor. So that's something to look into if you are pregnant right now and your doctor says, oh, it's 39 weeks, it's time to induce you. And that should be like a huge red flag and you should run away. But anyway, so she asked if I was comfortable with receiving Pitocin. I don't even remember it. She gave me a shot of Pitocin in my, I think my right leg. But then within a couple minutes, the placenta came out. Oh, there we go. Oh. Good. Oh, good job. Awesome. Is that because of the Pitocin or? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. But with this thing, I want to be made. Okay. Nice and firm. Sorry, I'm pushing on you. Midline. Give me this. I'm just going to keep doing this until the bleeding stops. I know. I know. Oh, it's time to I'm sorry. Oh, this time is good. It came out was not the placenta wasn't painful coming out because it's just like a bunch of goo like it's it wasn't bad at all but what was what was uncomfortable was that I tore and so like I felt it come past my I had two tears I had a tear inside right a little like what they call a skid mark and then I had almost a second degree tear on my lady bits and so I felt it come past that but other than that like it kind of was just a moment of pain and then it, it passed anyways that happened and so then they got me like cleaned up because it was like I mean, it's kind of like beautiful, but it's kind of graphic. Like a little like there's, you know, you kind of end up with blood on you and it's just a part of the process, but you know, whatever. I birthed the placenta. It was in a bowl. They kind of got me cleaned up and then the bed was prepared for me to make the very long walk to the bed. <laughs> and so I walked to the bed as I like Dave sitting on the chair with Leora. So you, you. Oh, yes. you did it. Oh, I know. I made this. You made it. I mean, you were there too. <laughs> so I got in the bed so that she could assess the damage, basically. And so she had a mirror and she was kind of talking me through what she was seeing. She was like, hey, she's like, based off of my experience, this type of tear actually heals better on its own. She's like, I can give you a stitch. It is a second degree. I think it was a second degree tear. She's like, I can give you a stitch, but she's like, I've just, I found that it kind of causes more harm than good. And it's just easier for like, like if you cut your hand with a knife, you will always have the scar of the, like the line. But if your skin rips like because of winter and it's dry, it, you'll never see that scar because it heals back together because your skin knows how to bind back together. Whereas if you cut it, it doesn't know how to heal back together. So she said, I think 
it would heal better on its own. Works for me, I don't wanna get stitches. That sounds, I've never had stitches. It doesn't sound great, and it doesn't sound great to have it the first time on your lady bits. So the room is so joyful and happy and peaceful, and like little Leo is like looking around, and at some point Dave brings her back over to me, and she poops her meconium all over me, and it was awesome. And I kind of wonder if she would have been a 10 pound baby because she passed a lot of meconium, like, when I was sitting on the birth stool and I was holding her, then she passed a whole bunch more when I was sitting in the bed. Yeah. Here, give me this kid. I need to lay her. Yep, without her any thing. Oh boy, she pooped again. Oh, oh wow. Major one. Good. Big old poop. She's not gonna weigh anything after this. No. Well, she nursed. I'll tell you what, just uh, hold on for a second. Oh. oh boy. Look at your little bum. So I think she might have been a 10 pound baby before she pooped. So being able to breastfeed was like super, super, super important to me. And so I took a breastfeeding class through Trisha Ludwig and she has a podcast called Down to Birth. It was awesome. I, it gave me such confidence. Leo latched right away, no lip tie, cheek tie, tongue tie, which I was super grateful about. So I'm nursing Leo and then my doula gives me a placenta tour, which if you don't know what that is, it's she brings the placenta out to you and then she talks about all the things about the placenta and like the, the cord and like the things that we just don't know, like the names of the arteries and all the things. And it was so cool. This, this side was attached to your uterus. This is your side. And this side, she fit inside the amniotic sac. The amniotic sac came all the way around this. Look at this mm. for kid. Good thing you didn't have somebody pulling on your cord. <laughs> really? What do you it would have detached. See, see how it looks kind of like a fork? Yeah. It's called a fricket incision. So any amount of, I mean, the vessels are like strong. Yeah, right here in, this is the core, yeah. Mm. Uh, like I could put my finger through it. So, but didn't right you do, didn't you pull? I did traction. Yeah, I was helping guide it. I was not, not pulling it like not. they do. So they did five minutes after. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I was giving it time and helping. Yeah. Okay. So this is her side. So then it would have been more. Her, her more side. Difficult. What is it? Her side. So. Oh, so this is cool too. So, in your uterus, this side was attached to your uterus. This is your side. And this side, she fit inside the amniotic sac. The amniotic sac came all the way around this, like a big balloon. And all of, everything was inside of it. So, what's really amazing about this placenta too is this milk sac. So before the placenta forms, this is what sustained her life. Wow. What did you do this? Is that yeah. all clotting? Mm-hmm. That's how it comes off. But it a big clot comes okay. and pushes it off. See mm. how it all kind of goes together? Wow. So it's all there. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah. really bad. So Both of you guys had some helpful. false nodding in the cord, which is nothing loved it and we like my husband was there my midwife was there it was just like it was such a beautiful moment and 
I'll share my favorite photo postpartum that my doula took of me. And I just like, I feel like I'm just glowing and radiating and I just love it. And I just feel so proud and confident. It's, oh, it was the best. The doula and the midwife uh, cleaned up everything. Like a lot of the stuff just went down the drain in the tub. They did laundry throughout the labor and birth, helped like clean up everything. And they care about you as a person. And it is like 10 out of 10 recommend. I like to say that um, if you're interested in home birth and you're considering it, you should do it. If your gut is telling you like, oh my gosh, like this is something I think I could do, do it. Because there's nothing unique about me that makes me strong. There's nothing unique about me that makes me like, I, I don't have any special sauce. I don't have this crazy confidence. I don't have, like, there's nothing unique about me. All women have this capability of giving birth the way they want to. You just have to educate yourself, hire the right team, and prepare your husband as much as you prepare yourself. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So if you guys have any like further questions about home birth or non-toxic living, holistic stuff, please let me know in the comments and I will try to do a video on it or just respond in the comments. Also, my doula who is phenomenal, she's like the best in the area, probably the world. She is starting a podcast, so I don't know when it's launching, but when it does, I will put it in the description below. I will also link, I interviewed her before I had Leora, and so I will link that in the description below. Hold her up in here. Aww. And this will tell us how much she weighs. It's so peace, life. love, and yeah. save the whale. Yeah. What's our, what's the guess? I'm guessing 10. Really? Nothing less. Hmm. Really? Yeah. 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 really? 10, I was going huh? with 92. Hmm. Oh, you're a pro. Nice. We gotcha. Oh, oh. you're so cute. <laughs> She's gonna like it in here. That's here? Yep. Okay. Nine. Oh. Ten. Okay. Nine, ten. Oh my gosh. Go ahead, nine size yeah. baby. Go big or go home. <laughs> and you <laughs> win big. That's why it takes a little while. <laughs> yeah. You did go. You're going to help me see how long she is, okay? Okay. Oh, I know. How are you feeling? Don't you sleepy? Should we yeah. turn that off or does it matter? Yeah, but, but accomplished. You can hit it.